and good morning to all my lovely students out there. I welcome you all for today's English class. Students, today's date is 18th of January 2021 and we are doing module number 11. Under module number 11, we will be taking up the last topic which is diary entry. Alright, and I hope you still remember students that in our previous term that is term one we have done diary entry so it will just be a recapitulation of what we have learned in our previous term so what is our learning outcome for today's class it is that each one of you will be able to know the format there's a particular format of a diary entry and also you'll be able to make appropriate diary entries on any topic given to you all right students so let's get started so you see people possess diaries, right? And they maintain diaries. So it is basically what? It is basically a diary is a notebook on which you pen down or jot down your emotions, your feelings. It is written in an everyday manner, right? And many of you, I know that you maintain a diary and you write down whatever important events uh, has been taken place in a day you jot it down before you sleep right many of you have shown me also and you have told me that you maintain a diary so let us recall back what is the format of writing a diary entry and how should we maintain it all right so if in a plain paper you are going to write down a format so the diary entry format will be like this day and date then comes the time then comes what dear diary which is the salutation then in the middle of the body comes the content whatever you want to write it down right and at last that is the left hand corner you see that the name of the writer who is maintaining the diary writes down his or her name all right now there is a particular format as you know that in a formal writing, you have different formats, no? For formal writing, letter writing, you have a format. For dialogue writing, you have a format. So for maintaining a diary also, you have a format. So it starts from the top left corner with the date, day, time, and then particularly space given. Then comes the salutation as dear diary. Then in the middle part, you write down the body or the content. Whatever things you want to write down about that particular day, how you have spent the day or a particular moment or an incident which you write, you want to write it down in your diary. And at the left hand bottom corner, you write down your name. All right, students, I hope you still remember it. So let us see an example of this so that it will help you for better understanding. So before going to that, let us see certain important criteria for writing a proper diary entry, for making a pop proper diary entry. First and foremost, you have to also include dear diary since you are writing pending down jotting down your emotion so you consider your diary to be as your friend right dear diary is the salutation to the diary or the greeting also called as greeting and diary writing should be written in the first person first person that is i if it is singular whatever has happened to me what i have experienced or if it is plural first person plural is we if you have experienced something together with your family or friends, you write it down. Not they, not she, not the second and third person that is you, he, she, they. You are not going to use that because you are pending down. That means you are writing down your own emotions, your own feelings. So what you have to do, you have to always write it in the first person. All right. And it is written in the past tense. Why in the past tense? Because you have already experienced it. And then you are writing it down. Has an introduction to set the scene. There are so many incidences and so many things happen in a 24-hour time span in a particular day. But in a diary entry, you're not going to write down everything, right? So you are going to write about a particular thing. 
So when you write it about a particular incident or something great has happened, something sad has happened, you give a small introduction that today was the happiest day of my life when you start writing it or today was the saddest day of my life, right? Or today was the most exciting, most surprising day of my life. So you give an introduction where in the readers can get a glimpse of what you want to write it down in your diary and talks about emotions, opinions, thoughts, and feelings. So basically it is what it is your personal diary, you know, where you write down your thoughts and emotions and feelings. So whenever you write it down, you can express it in your diary. So uses time conjunctions to show when things happen. You can use conjunctions, join it to show what happened and during which time and writes about events that are important to the writer. So basically, as I have told you, you cannot write everything down, right? In a diary, it's a small thing. And in a day, you come across so many people, you come across so many different what, uh, incidents, situations. You cannot jot down everything in your diary. So you write down only the important points in your diary which is striking which is you feel is very important as a writer you want to write it down in your diary and then please write at least six sentences so in a diary at least you need to write six sentences all right so that is all about the different guidelines or a success criteria for writing a diary so let's see an example so here is the question and a proper format also Imagine that you are the secretary of the welfare organization of your school. Under your leadership, the organization was able to collect a substantial amount for the old age home. Help me. Express your sense of pride and happiness in the form of a diary entry. So you just imagine that the, your school has a welfare organization which is called as help me for an old age and you are the secretary. Just imagine you are the secretary and you have helped in to collect a substantial good amount of money for the old age. So you are very happy that day, you know, you wanted to help the old people and you have collected an amount of sum of money which will help the old people. So you feel a sense of pride. In a good way, you feel good about yourself and you're happy. So you write down your happiness in the form of a diary entry. That is the question. So see there, first top left corner, that is the day and date, Sunday 31st October 2020, uh, 2011. And then comes a blank, that is you leave the space. Then comes the time, what time you are writing. Basically, diary entry is written at night because whatever incidences happens in the day, you jot it down or you write it down, recalling them back right at night. So it is basically p.m., 10.45 p.m. And then comes the blank, leave a blank line and comes the salutation that is dear diary after giving the salutation you always give a comma right students that is a comma is given there dear diary then comma then comes a blank line that is space you give space and comes there the main body or the content which is given in the question that you are very happy you feel a sense of pride and happiness since you are a secretary of the organization of your school which is helping an old age home called help me so see i am proud to be a part of the welfare organization of my school as i always wanted to help the old people through various activities we collected a sum of more uh, a sum of 2.3 lakhs so here you have collected a sum of 2.3 lakhs okay this fund will take care of their health care entertainment and adult education so this fund will go for what you it will go for the health care no entertainment and also education adult education i feel content and happy like never before so here you are expressing your pride and happiness no 
and then comes the space that is leave a blank and at the top left corner in us uh, at the bottom left corner at uh, you will write your name writer's name all right students okay so this is an excellent example in your workbook they have also given a similar question like this so you have to follow the format and write down a diary entry which will be your homework all right students so in the next class we will start a new chapter from the english textbook so till then students take care i shall see you all in my next class bye bye